This application seeks planning permission for the creation of two-storey side and rear extensions of fire and book. The site comprises a plot at the end of the upper book cul-de-sac, backing onto a garage court. The proposed extensions are shown shaded on the right. The projection to the rear of number six, which is circled in blue on the right, is the neighbor's little garage, which I'll refer to later. The end of the cul-de-sac is bound by mature landscaping and there are no concerns regarding design. This slide shows the existing dwelling and this slide shows the proposed extensions. So <clears throat> there's the proposed side extension where my cursor is and this two-story gable development is the rear extension. The extensions would match the rich eaves height of the existing dwelling and would be compliant with the terms of the Harvard design guide. The extensions will be set back when viewed from the upper hook street scene, uh, extending away from the highway. So <coughs> the side extension will be over here, and the rear extension will be over the side here. In the bottom right photo, uh, which takes in more of the street scene, you can see that there'll be the extension to the side there, and the rear extension there. The rear extension would be adjacent to number six. As you can see from this photo, the double garage to number six would be between the two-story extension and the neighbour. And as previously noted, the garage extends beyond the rear of the neighbour's house. Furthermore, an extension which is only 0.5 metres, so half a metre less deep, would be permitted development if it was built 20 centimetres further away from the neighbour's boundary. These photos are to the rear of the house. Uh, the left photo shows the garage to number six again, and the right photo shows the location of the side extension next to the 90 foot field. The side extension would have a side-to-side -side relationship with number 90, around eight meters away and oriented to face away from the extension. The short section of cypress hedge on the left, which is basically the hedge you can see on the left there, and the trees on the right hand side, uh, uh, would be removed to facilitate the development but a landscape scheme is recommended to ensure that additional planting is undertaken. The application is therefore recommended for approval subject to the conditions and informative, in, no, informative on pages 22 and 23 of the agenda. Thank you. Thank you Mark. We have no speakers on this item. Member item members, so any questions? Can I ask about these uh, trees and the loss of six trees and the lower um, quality trees as they were deemed to be? That's right. Um, so, this is the tree plan showing what's uh, coming out, so it's a bit clearer on that on my screen actually. Um, so the yellow is trees to be removed for the development, and the blue ones are trees to be removed for arbor or for reasons. And those that means basically they're extremely near the end of their life or extremely low quality. Um, so you can see that in terms of being affected by the development, it's those trees there, which were basically the ones on the photo and a short section of cypress hedge. Um, classifications of the trees was undertaken, so the ones which aren't related to the development, as you can see, are category U trees. All of the other trees are category C, which is means they're of low quality against the British standards. Any more questions? Members? Okay, thank you. Favour of agenda item eight recommendations one to six and informative, which appear on pages 22 and 23 of your agenda application. Okay. 